Hey, hey, this is Mailbag 23-ish, and I'm going to have to take this off camera and open it up because it's going to be loaded with addresses, probably all facing towards the lens, because this is one of those AliExpress, we're going to be nice to you and combine a whole bunch of your orders and delay the earlier ones. So... Yes. It's a miracle. One package becomes five packages. And I'm going to open up this one first. I can't really use heat on it. I do know what it is. And I was able to meet Miss the Heat Shrink. I ordered a bit. So, this is, this is um, two two meters, two two meters at uh, a total with shipping $11.39 of 9.5 millimeter three to one heat shrink. And let's see what it looks like. And I think this might even have a tiny bit of equivalent glue. I'll put the website of where I got it over there and let's see how this goes. Bit burning. Okay, maybe using this on it's a bit overkill. And Okay, let's say it's 9.5 if I squeeze it down to make it round. And it's reduced significantly down to... And by this, uh, 50%. And that wasn't too even of a heating. Maybe it was a 2 to 1. I'm not sure. But I'll have it linked up there. And next package... it. Some ICs, which are probably taped in there. Yeah, they really pack these together. So much for using foam. And what do we have here? These are the LM. Can you see that? I can't tell. Well, they're LM 3914s. I'll put the supplier over there. And these are these are a linear range um, dot to bar display drivers. They're just like the LM 3915s that I bought earlier, but those actually go by 3 dB per um, LED, whereas these are just a straight linear. So it's a divide by uh, 10. And I'll have a quick demo of one at that time over there and show you one all set up. And next, capacitors. I'm going to be doing some stuff uh, audio and I have no little capacitors. I believe there's nine different uh, sizes here. Let me just sort them out. 
Okay, so supposedly there's nine different values in here, and uh, five of each value going from five picos up to, well, five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, and a hundred and twenty. So I now have some stock of these. And let's get them out of the bag. Not exactly well formed, but hopefully they'll work fine. Just, they're tiny and there's no markings on them. So I better keep them in the bags. And of course, who I got it from is over here. And what I paid for it will be over here. And now the next one. These are something, 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 something. These are easier to get out of the container. CD 4011B. Let's see. And these were pricey. Um, I had a couple left in stock, so I bought these. 10 for 65 cents, except when you add the shipping on top of that, works out to be almost 25 cents a piece. And who I got it from is there. And these are NAND gates, so I'll put um, the diagram there and the logic over there. Uh, but basically, um, these are just for restocking. And the last is should be some Schmidt Schmidt triggers. Okay, this says CD forty ninety three which is not what I ordered. Are they all the same? No, they're not. Uh, this one here is a CD4106. Uh, this is what I ordered. So I'm just going to sort these out to see what I actually got. So instead of getting 20 CD4106s, which are hex inverters, uh, Schmidt hex inverters. I got 17 of them. And of course, they really don't want to short you on parts. So they then sent three CD4093s, which are Schmidt NAND gates. Uh, that would have been fine if I needed some NAND gates, except I already purchased 30 of them. So didn't need them. And what I'll do next is I'm going to do a demo of the LM3914s. And if you're wondering where I got this nice little uh, combination, it can be if you can take this out, it's a torch uh, or heater. Uh, leave this in, it's a soldering iron. I picked this up at a local uh, home hardware store. And uh, it's kind of handy for working outside. Demo time. I've set this up in bar mode. So this dark line here is in the circuit. This dark line here is in the circuit. If I set it up in dot mode, so just one LED at a time, uh, these two lines would be removed and the dashed line here would be included. So the way this works is basically you put in for this setup, meaning you can do it a lot of different ways. Um, I put in zero to uh, roughly 2.5 volts in for the signal. This one here, the R low is set to ground. 
So it's going to work from 0 volts up to 2 point or 1.2 volts, which is R high, which is from the feedback loop. Read the data sheet. But once it gets above 1.2, that's actually connected down here to the R low here, at which point, once it's past that, then these start to light up. And it would go as high as 2.4 volts, at which point everything should be lit up. Now, I'll just move this out of the way. Pull in the circuit. And I've got the voltmeter attached. Where I've got the signal coming in. So right now, let me adjust it a bit. Reading, uh, well, close to ground. Okay. I'm going to actually lock the focus in. So that it's not jumping all over the place. And as I start to take up the voltage at one point, roughly 1.2 it comes on, which is what it should be doing, not 1.2, 0.12 because there's 10 here, 10 divisions, uh, so it should be 1.2 per division. Now I'm going to drop this on here, otherwise it just washes it out. Okay, so the next one should be at about 2 point, or 0.24. There it goes, and I'm just going to keep increasing. It looks like it's still washing it out on the camera. I'll take it up until we get to 1.2 volts, which should be where it starts to switch over. Okay, there's the 1.2. That should be the last. Nope, oh, gotta go a bit high. There, that last one's now lit. And at about uh, 1.34. Oh, you can barely see that. Uh, the red LED is lit there. Lock these out, and as I keep increasing, more and more of them light up, and it's not really showing up well on the camera. But as I keep on going, it actually lights up, but it's very dim. Okay, at 2.4, this one is lit up. It's not just these ones making it bright. So, it works. So you can make a bar graph out of it. If I change the wiring around, it would just be one LED at a time. Taking it down... Uh, that just washes it out. Poor choice of LEDs. So, it does work. And that's just a quick demo. There's lots of different ways you can uh, set this up.